I have two really huge shrubs that, and need advice on how to make them not so huge. Ideally, I would like to cut them back instead of digging them up and starting all over again with new plants. The plant that came with the house says they are dwarf Yopan hollies, but as you can see, they're not dwarf anymore. I pulled one apart and the inside branches are very supple, so I think they are healthy. Any advice on the proper way and time to tame these beasts would really be appreciated. Thanks in advance for your time and assistance. And this is from Tyra. I like the fact that the house came with a plan. Mm. And I like ah, the fact yeah. that Tyra is really well written and uh, she's it? so it's like supple. supple. Yeah, supple. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 when well, I saw the supple. How many people say supple? Right. Right. Yeah. right. So how can we help her out? Because they're pretty big. Yeah. Did she say uh, uh, what size they were or what size she wanted? She didn't say. Well, she the just picture gives huge, us a clue. But yeah, mm -hmm. um, that's pretty big. I, and I like to tell people dwarf doesn't necessarily yeah, mean dwarf. No was, plant yeah. stops growing. Right. It's going to keep growing. I was waiting for you to say that. It's alive. <laughs> so it means it has a more compact habit. Um, I, I love dwarf yopine. It's native and it's adaptable to so many different situations, but it does get big, big. Mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you our experience at the station, they got so big that they swallowed the lights out around yeah. the parking area out front. <laughs> yeah. And certainly they can be cut back hard. Jason took a chainsaw and cut them off at the base, wow. totally gone, just a little bit of a trunk. And they rocketed back because they have that? enormous mm. root systems. Yeah. So within mm. two or three years, we're taking them probably 12 years to get too big. Within two or three years, we were right back in the same Wow. Problem. So. So you would move them? I would move them. I know. I know she would want to, and they are a lot of work, but I think she's going to always, I mean, mm. cutting them back every two or three years is certainly going to work. But mm. you do have an ugly phase where it's been sheared off and you look yes. at a lot of stems. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, she said the inside branches were supple. Uh -huh. uh, even uh, if it got that size, you, she might see if there are a few branches she could turn it into a tree form and plant stuff under it. Yeah. That's true. But it's still going to grow. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, right. it's, it's going to get big. tall. It's going to get massive. Yeah. I've seen that done with other holly mm -hmm. and it looks quite good. I've never okay. seen it with a dwarf yopine, mm -hmm. but that might be a cool thing it, to try. It just okay. depends on what, what she's starting with. Mm -hmm. But you would recommend moving. Just moving. I would. I'd just bite the bullet and move them because they're great <laughs> plants. There's just the wrong spot. Right. I'm, I know everybody likes to plant things next to the house, sure. but you know I'm not a fan uh, of foundation plantings in general. <laughs> House on a bed of lettuce sort of look. Yeah. Um, a bed of lettuce. Uh, what, like what would you recommend to replace it with? Well, again, I don't go with shrubs next to the house normally. Mm -hmm. I would probably limb up some small trees because mm -hmm. I do like shade on the house to mm -hmm. reduce the use of uh, electricity. Mm -hmm. uh, and then go with some understory ground cover perennials and things mm -hmm. like that of that nature that would never need to be pruning. There are a few shrubs that don't grow too tall. Once they get to a certain height, they grow sideways. Mm -hmm. And we could discuss that at some other point. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments. 